Hi everyone. Um, today I wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers because I've gone from like no subscribers to 182 in a month. Yay! And I wanted to thank you all by giving you a little gift. Um, so I'm going to do a YouTube tutorial and I'm going to show you how to make this, which looks really complicated, but I promise you it really isn't. And I have included a link um, for you guys to be able to download this in several colors. Here it is. Hang on a second. Let me just show you. It comes in the, the cream and the black and the pink and also the green for you guys. Um, it all comes on the one sheet and this is to save you from having to make a template and everything. What you can do is you can actually cut around these and use them as they are or if you want to put it on a paper of your choice, just use these as a template. Now, look, I know you guys are thinking, oh my gosh, Fussy cutting all those little typewriter keys. No, 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 no. Please don't think this is hard. It looks hard, but it's really easy. What you do is I've made these the right size so that you can use a hole punch to punch them out. Um, just a single hole punch, and they're the right size, and you just line it up. Um, hang on a second. Here we go. The black one will show up better. You just line it up like so and just punch them all out and that way you're not having to fussy cut all these little tiny circles um so um some of the other little bits can be a little fiddly and they are a little bit small i'll be honest with you but i don't find them hard to cut um hopefully you guys won't find them hard to cut either so that is the little downloadable printable that i've got for you to say thank you but i also wanted to show you how to actually make this typewriter without the printable um, this is how I made the first one and then what I did was I uploaded it to my computer and I made it into a proper template for you guys um, But I wanted to show you how to do this because again, I make all this stuff out of either trash or scraps um, And I love making this stuff for you guys to share it with you um, And I love saving the environment a little bit by making it so what I did was I just traced this rough shape here for the type brighter. Then I decided that I wanted the paper to be able to go in and out. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you that. So this paper is like a little hidden journaling spot and it can go up or down the way you like it, as you like it. I printed them with PS I love you on them. You can also write on the back obviously. And um, I wanted them to be able to go up and down. So what I did was I made this little bit here and um, I'm, I put a slit in there and I glued that over the top and then these are for the um, tab shift lock whatever keys that you want space bar and the little note now you'll notice that on this one I don't have these pieces these little I don't know what you'd call them the little wheels on the typewriter so um, the reason why is because I actually used a punch to do that and the punch that I used although you don't need it you can do it with just a standard circle um, but the punch that I used is this one here. Um, I think this is a half inch punch. Uh, let me just quickly check that for you guys. Just to make sure that I'm not leaving anyone astray. And again, um, creating this stuff is really about, yes it is a half inch punch. Creating this stuff is really about trying to maximize your pieces. Um, the things that you have, your your... Um, punches and all that sort of stuff. So what I did was punch out a one inch circle to make the little typewriter wheels and then I trimmed off one side, cut it about there. Do you see how that's a little typewriter wheel? There we go. And then I did the same on the other side. and then you got a little middle bit left over. There we go, and you've got two typewriter wheels that way. See, so, um, so really you don't really need to trace those or, or cut them out if you're choosing to do it this way, which is the hard way since I already did a template for you guys. But I, as I said, I really wanted to show you um, that this can be done even if you don't have a printer. Um, and for those of you who don't have a printer and who want to try this, the typewriter itself is 
two and a quarter inches wide at its, oh, well, no, not really. At its widest point, it's two and a half inches. And it narrows down to one and a quarter inches. And then height-wise, it is one and three quarter inches. And so if you make yourself a box that's one and three quarter inches by two and a half inches, just draw a square. And then inside that square, just trace your little your little typewriter so that you're holding in the right shape then this little piece is obviously made to fit right in here so that is going to be one and almost three three quarters yeah one and three quarters by an inch okay and then these little buttons I think you guys can work out they just go in the corners here um, they're a little bit bigger than the hole punch, and a hole punch is a quarter inch, a single hole punch, and regular single hole punch is a quarter inch. Um, and then this little note here that I made is one and a quarter inches by almost two inches. You can make it two inches. One and a quarter by two inches. So that should help you guys if you don't have a printer and you want to make this, that's how you do it. Um, the little space bar I just made to, to fit in this spot here. Okay, you can you can work that out. I think it's what um, mine's one and a half inches by uh, an eighth of an inch. So anyway, so all I did was I traced those on, and I used Manila folder. You can use cereal boxes. You can use some black cardstock. Now the black cardstock that you see that I've used for this one here, I buy this in a huge sheet at um, Dollar Tree for 69 cents. You can't beat that, honestly. And then what I do is I just cut it down to regular size sheets so I can store it easily. And um, it, it's the cheapest black cardstock <laughs> that money can buy. Um, yes, it doesn't come in like proper little sheets. It comes in a big roll, you know, like, like, you, like you buy for the kids for their school projects. Um, but um, I'm happy with that. that. That suits me fine. So that, that's what I, what I use for my cardstock and it's so inexpensive. I think I could probably make about 500 of those little typewriters um, <laughs> from one huge big sheet if I wanted to and it would cost me nothing but 65 cents and of course my time. So um, once you have cut out these little shapes and the templates are exactly the same size as this. I made the keys just a little fraction bigger so that when you were punching with the hole punch, you didn't have any white rims around the edges if you didn't line it up just perfectly. Now, once you get the, to this point, I just get myself a little scrap of paper. Here we go. And I need my craft knife, which I had here just a second ago. There it is. And I just freehand it, but you guys might like to use a metal ruler or something. Just trace along it, like so. Ta-da, it's open. And that means that your little note can now go in and out. There we go. All right, so we've got those two bits done. See, I told you this was easy and quick. So here we go, we've got those two bits. We've got the space bar. I'm now gonna trace out, cut out, I beg your pardon this little section here and you can see that these were done freehand these were not traced around or anything like that um, these were just a freehand drawing that I did it really isn't hard to make this um, again I know it looks complicated but it really is so simple now I bought one of those um, phone holders so that you guys could see what I was doing as I'm working I hope it's I hope it's showing what I, because I can't see what you guys see on the camera. So I hope it's showing what I needed to show. If not, I'll have to redo this entire video, which will make me a little sad. So I don't have all that much time. But um, you guys are all worth it. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. Here we go. And like I said, these little fiddly bits are the fiddliest bits. Now, all I did for the keys was punch, punch, punch. So um, I think, how many keys have I got on there? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 19, 19 little keys. So 
just punch out 19 little holes and of course we're keeping the punches <laughs> we don't care about the holes in this occasion There we go. Okay. And now it's just assembly time. Um, if you want to ink these, you would ink them now. Um, I love inking my stuff. I'm going to ink it because <laughs> it's like a sickness with me. I've mentioned this many times in my videos. I'm sure you're sick of hearing it, but I just think it adds that grungy sort of 3D element that I really, really love. So I ink all my stuff. Now, I will I will be brutally honest and say that inking those little dots is really a pain in the butt. It really is, but I'm gonna do it anyway because it really makes those little buttons pop. There we go. And honestly, it really doesn't take as long as one would think. Um, yes, it is a little time consuming, but and also, it depends on the look that you like. I mean, some people really like to go for that clean, modern look. And it really depends on your layout as well. Um, if you've got a lot of pastels and you don't have lots of grungy colors and you want to do this little retro typewriter here, you know, maybe don't ink it. Um, and it will look very clean and fresh and stark and, and, and it will look really nice on your layout. But um, for me, I just, I always, everything I always use is vintage. vintage so... Um, for me, I like to, to ink all this stuff up. Um, now, I will show you how to do the little decorations on here. What I did for my black one is I used a silver pen. Um, I got this silver pen from Dollar Tree in a pack of two with a gold one. Now, the gold marker isn't worth much at all. It's terrible. But the silver marker really does leave a very nice silver edge. So, I edged all around it with the silver and I did this stuff here in the middle with the silver. I wrote the regal, which is, is hard to read, but it's tiny, tiny, tiny. And then a little dot and a little squiggle, sort of like a logo. Um, and then for this, I just used a little fine liner pen, um, which I used an 05, and I just went doop, 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 right along it to make those, those ratchety looking things that they used to have. Then I scored along that, where that line is, and I bent it slightly forward. I don't know if you guys can see that, it's to allow clearance for the little note to go in and out. But we will cover all that as we're assembling it because, um, or after we assemble it and we're decorating. Um, now, obviously the ones that I've done, the little templates for you guys, they already have the little letters and numbers and whatever words on the keys and everything. So from that perspective, it's really much simpler. But all I did was I glued these all on and then I got my fine liner pen again and I just wrote them on. And I will show you how to do that as soon as we get to the assembly point of these. Um, I really should have maybe inked these previously so you guys didn't have to wait while I ink them. But um, hopefully you don't mind. And otherwise what I might do is just go ahead and put this together with what I've got so far and finish inking those down the track a little now um if you don't like the black pen around the edges like that i've like i've got you just ink the other side it's no big deal i'm gonna do that that way because i didn't have the black lines on everything so i might just turn it all around and re-ink it for the bits that um don't have black pen so that has a consistency, you know, so it looks cohesive. And again, I'm not terribly careful with how I ink my stuff or not getting stuff everywhere. I just go for it. My dauber is falling apart. That's what all these little 
bits are on the like, table and they get stuck on stuff and they leave marks and some people would be really upset by that. I used to be one of them. I used to be a lot more particular and stuff, but I've become more grungy as I've gotten older, I think. With time come those things. All right, so assembly. The little note can go out of the way for now. And I just use my Elmer's glue all. I'm gonna stick on the little space bar first. This allows me to find my spacing properly for all my keys and everything. I put the tiniest amount of this stuff on because otherwise it takes too long to dry and I don't like that. There we go. Now I'll just center it nicely, pop it down there. Voila, space bar on. Now next I'm going to put on the little wheels on the side. <coughs> there we go. Now I just overlap this slightly. Can you see? I don't put it straight on there. I let it poke out a little bit on the side and on the top. There we go. That's that. I'm going to put the little tab buttons down the bottom. Now, I had a look at um, typewriter keys, and some of them have words on these, and some of them don't, so I left these plain. You can always put some on there if you want. Um, I only traced one of each of these, so <coughs> I'm going to have to cut another two. Excuse me. But at least I'll be able to show you to a certain extent with these two. There we go. And now what I do is I put little dobs of glue on here. I find that that's the quickest way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm fully aware that <clears throat> these are ha hell to pick up. So what I do is I get myself a, an eraser on the back of my pencil and I just moisten it slightly and then I just use that. If you have one of those sticky picker, picker uppers that they have, that they sell, great, use that. But if you don't, this is a pretty good stopgap. And so you see it's really not as fiddly and tricky as you guys think it is because here we are we're almost done with our little typewriter and it really hasn't taken that long and it's really not as fussy as it looks is it There we go. And so you would continue laying those on. Um, make sure that you do them like not in a row. So see how, see how these are laid in the spaces in between. Um, so you wanna be able to do that. Now, let me show you how to decorate this part. Get yourself your little fine liner pen and a ruler. And all I did was I drew a line at the top. And for the logo, I 
I just did this cute little squiggle there. Little dot. There we go, that's that. Not very hard, huh? And then I've got my little score. Excuse me, I keep bumping this. I'm gonna put something there so I can score it. Again, I freehand it, but by all means, use a ruler if you need it. There we go. And then I just bend that up slightly, like so. And you would glue along there and there and along the bottom. Do not glue at the top or on the sides, at the top, anything there, because you don't need to. This is all you need. <clears throat> and then you put that on so that it covers that line. I put it on as far up as I possibly can to allow for all the little keys that we've still got to put in there. There we go. There we go. And pop your little note in to make sure that you still can. Voila. That's it. And once you've done that, you can just push it up a little bit so that it's just poking forward. That just keeps the little paper in place and um, it's actually a really nice snug fit. So, you know, it, it works really nicely. Now, all I wrote, of course, on the top of this was, P.S. I love you. But this time I'm gonna go, thank you. And then I tried to make it look a little bit like typewriter keys, typewriter writing, by putting little things here and there. <clears throat> and for this one, for these, I put the lines like so. They're just horizontal lines. I don't use rulers. I just go for it freehand, but you may use a ruler if you prefer. There we go. And as you can see, we're well on our way to finishing this little typewriter. Now, all I did for the letters was just, again, write them in there. Z, X, C, V. Now, these are not done, like, completely right. I haven't got all the keys on here that you need on a typewriter. Um, we're trying to get the illusion of it looking like that. We don't want to really crowd it out and have them all stuck in there. Uh, and I'm gonna put tab on this one. I'll put shift lock on the other one. And you can see that we're pretty much just about done there. I just need to ink the rest of the dots and put them on there and do another little two of those tab and whatever keys just to put there. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see, it's, it's really simple and easy and it makes such a cute hidden journaling spot um, to put in your layouts or in a little book or in a journal or whatever. So, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I've left out. Oh, I used a very, very thin pencil to go around the edge. I didn't use pen because if I made a mistake, it would really show up. But this just sort of embossed it and made that little line around the keys. So it looks like the old typewriters. And I'm happy with using the pencil. If you guys want to, if you're brave enough to use a really thin pen and freehand it and be able to get it to look right, then go for it. But I was not confident with that, so I just used pencil. And all you're doing is doing like a little frame inside and that just makes it pop a little bit more in my opinion. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Again, thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, thank you for supporting me. And I hope you enjoy this. And um, you can find the link to download this freebie um, in, the, in the description. Um, and it will be active for the next two weeks for my loyal subscribers. And I also plan on having a giveaway uh, when I reach 200. And I'm at 182 currently. 
So uh, I'm gonna organize a giveaway for a really cool um, mini album, one of my printables, um, which is coming out, which is called Carnival. Um, I haven't got one put together yet, but it's a circus slash carnival type one. And here's a little preview of what it looks like. Um, it comes with all dividers and everything with tabs and, and everything in it. So um, it makes a beautiful book. Um, I'll put it together and I'll show you guys in a future video. Thank you very much again. Have a good day. Bye.